All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Acha Kodash, which is to say the only true name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel and to the believers and the few sisters that watch, I say Shalom to you as well. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai and Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, um, uh, what I'm going into, uh, you know, as I've uh, been promising that I was going to do, uh, you know, uh, a word of the week, you know, um, and uh, this week, uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, the word of the week is uh, endurance. Okay, and uh, the beloved brother kind of knocked in the camp, uh, you know, blessed us with this, you know, at the camp last week. So, you know, just like I, you know, I said, you know, through the spirit, you know, I want to share, you know, share with the brotherhood, you know. Um, so, no further ado, uh, the word endurance it goes into. Uh, it says late 15th uh, century and it says continual existence in time right and it says see endure when you go into the word endure it means lasting you know lasting okay and it also says uh, meaning ability uh, to uh, ability ability to bear suffering okay suffering etc right and uh, one of the things that we're required to have, you know, in this ministry is patience. Okay, when you, you're serving the Lord, you got to have patience. Okay, and the word patience goes into suffering. Okay, and patient, being patient and enduring, okay, uh, are pretty much synonymous. You see, and um, you know, this is <laughs> a, a prayer that I pray every day. You know, uh, um, you know, Yahweh uh, by Shimei Shai. Natanla Natanla Nawa uh Kazak La Yakal. You know what I'm saying? Lord give us the strength to endure. Okay. Uh because as we know, you know, um, you know, she's gonna she's gonna ramp up, you know, and times are gonna get hard, you know. But uh we have comfort through the scriptures, which which tells us that hey, if we continue to keep the patience of the Heavenly Father's word, right? Patience, suffer. Um that we're going to be kept, okay? He's going to keep us, you know, uh, not only from the hour of temptation, but also from everything that's going to lead up to the hour of temptation, okay? Because there are going to be food shortages. There are going to be pestilences, okay? Um, there are going to be, uh, 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 you know, sedition amongst men, you know, men men breaking in each other into each other's houses, like we read in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, okay? Um you know, and, and, and a shitload of calamities that are going to take place, you know, so that enduring or enduring part uh, takes, it starts now, okay, so that way when shit hits the fan, okay, and the most high unleashes high holy hell on this place, we can be kept, okay, and that is the absolute uh, um, importance of endurance, as I also our Lord Yahweh Shai said, he said, he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, so all you wacky, tacky, goofy ass Christians talking about you're saved, ain't nobody on this planet saved yet. Okay, because when you go into that word saved, it goes, to, it stems from the word salvation. Okay, and that goes into being delivered from a troublous time or troublous situation. Okay, and that ain't happened yet. Okay, that's specifically speaking about ultimately when all the plagues and the pestilence and the violence takes place, and then ultimately. 200 nuclear uh, uh, 200 nuclear warheads are shot on America okay and those that are redeemed or called up into the sky okay on what the world ignorantly calls UFOs those people are going to be saved okay so right now ain't nobody on this planet saved so oh, hey the hell what your grandma talking about oh I've, I've been saved I know she not she's a liar she ain't saved okay because the times of the end have not come yet okay so let's get a precept. Let's 
get a precept on this. And my favorite, okay, and it's pretty much like the introductory scripture, you know, when you when you coming into this thing, man. Okay, when you coming to serve the Lord, you know, this is you know like that de de that that debriefing, or not not debriefing because you debrief after the mission, but that briefing, you know, when you coming into this thing, you know. So this is uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 it says my son if thou come to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation okay why and it's not ultimately if you're of the elect it ain't for you to fall away okay it's to do what to prove you to 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 uh, to, uh you know basically build you up to be that fine gold that you know the elect are gonna be okay and really when you look at it it's also to help you be able to be numb, you know, when when the times of hell come, when Jacob's trouble comes, okay? Because we catch hell now, you know, on a daily basis, like the scriptures say, we we die we we die daily, okay? Okay, we troubled on all sides. This place is absolutely vexing to us. We hate we hate this place. We hate our lives, you know. But all of that is prepping us, okay, for the t the times to come. Okay, so I read that again. It says, my, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul, uh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay, because why? The Lord want to prove, okay, you say you come to serve me, you want to be a servant of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai? Because guess what? That entails ultimately salvation. That means you're going to be saved when nuclear holocaust takes place. Okay, so the Lord saying, okay, so since you, 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 coming to sign up <laughs> okay uh, uh i'm gonna try you i'm gonna make sure that you're, you're worthy of, of, of deliverance okay uh let me get the next verse verse two it says set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble you see I read it again. It says, set thy heart aright. And what does it mean by set thy heart aright? Okay, when you read heart in the Bible, it's not talking about your actual organ that pumps blood. It's speaking about your mind. Okay, so set your mind aright. Right, meaning what? Understand what you, hey, the scriptures tell tell us that we have to count the cost. You got to understand what you're uh, 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 being a part of. And the, 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 the previous verse is telling you, you're going to be tempted, man. Okay. You're gonna be tempted by what? Your flesh, okay? Because your spirit is is really is what is uh, is is is, uh, is what's gonna profit, okay? Like the scriptures say, uh, uh, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit of nothing, okay? Your flesh is dying every minute, every second. And I always say this: get it when you go to bed tonight. When you wake up in the morning, get one of those blue lights and put it on your bed and see how much dead skin cells on your on your sheets. Okay, these bodies are trash. We got the worst bodies in the history of mankind. You know, brothers, all type of infirmities, ailments. You know, we got to fight, taking all type of supplements and, and, and eating the herbs just to not feel like you want to give up the ghost. You know, then dealing with, you know, these adulterous women, you know, and, and everything else that comes with being a man of the most high. Right. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste. And make not haste in times of trouble, right? And we all know that we'll come, hey, the times of trouble are, are close at hand, man. Okay, so the Lord is telling you, look, don't be hasty, okay? Rely on the spirit. Don't get carnal. Because you get carnal, hey, because the scriptures say to be carnally minded is death. If you think carnally in the times of trouble, you're going to die, Okay. Take a deep breath, like Elder Ariella say, take a deep breath, drink some water, okay, and rely on the spirit and ultimately on Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Uh, let's get, uh, this is uh, second, second Timothy chapter 2, you know, and I wanted to get straight to the point, but when I came to the chapter and I saw at the top, it said, be strong. I said, nah, I got to get all this meat off of here, at least to the 10th, tenth, uh, tenth verse, okay? So bear with me. So this is... Uh, Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 it says thou therefore my son 
be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, right? Because that's how we're part of this, through the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, it ain't nothing we did. You know, it ain't that we're special. It's just through grace and mercy. Okay, so be strong in that, you know, because you, you could be like the rest of these niggas in the world. Don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, and about to get smacked up by side the head by pestilence, plagues, you know, uh, 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 teeth of wild beasts, famine. Okay, which famine is the worst way to die, according to the scriptures. Okay, to starve to death, that's the worst way to die. And a lot of our people are going to die by famine. Okay, so it says, uh, thou therefore, my son, be strong in, in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, verse 2. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many, among many witnesses, the same commit, commit thou to faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others also right so that's what this is all about it's each one teach one okay it's not about you okay it's about yahweh by hashim yahweh shah the heavenly father and his son that's who it's about it ain't about us okay our job is to learn this doctrine and go teach it so the next man can learn it and he can go teach it and the next man can learn it and he can go teach it because as the scriptures say surely the harvest is plenteous but the labors are few you see so uh, a small eclectic group of men got a lot of work to do, okay? Hey, hey, and you, 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 hey, we, we sign up for the task, you know? And obviously through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, verse three, it says, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, right? Cause we're at war. This is a spiritual war, okay? We're not carnal, okay? We, we don't never boast to be, okay? We don't uh, 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 mass up with weapons and Say we're gonna take to the streets and take Esau out of power. Hell no. Okay. We we do we have a council though that in the scriptures. And it didn't it never ended well. Okay. Ask ask uh uh what's this guy who led the slave rebellion? Mm, I can't think of his name. But you know they did the movie Twelve Years was it twelve years? No, uh man, it's slipping my mind right now. But brothers know, you know who I'm talking about. Um they led a slave rebellion and what happened? Uh a dude switched out on him and told Massa, and, and, and that did the, he got fucked up, man. Okay, because what happened was he was reading the scriptures and seeing that he realized that he was an Israelite. Okay, and then he read scriptures like he should stand upon their beds, you know, uh, in the book of Psalms, you know, uh, uh, with the word, uh, the name of the Lord in their mouth and the two edged sword in their hand to render vengeance. You know, well, he didn't understand that it wasn't time for that yet. Okay, and he died a horrible death. Okay, he got skinned alive, he got fried, and all type of shit, man. Okay, because it wasn't time. But that shows that we're not carnal. We ain't gonna, we're not gonna mount up with weapons and try to take this devil down. No, we can't fight him with his blessing. Hey, we're gonna fight him with our blessing, which is spirituality. Okay, and rely on the Lord. Like the scriptures say, wait ye upon me until I rise up unto the prey. Verse 4 it says, No man that wareth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Right. Like I said, it's all about Yahweh Shemal Shah and being thankful and being strong in the fact that he chose you to be a teacher of his doctrine. Okay. There are billions of Israelites, man. You know, billions of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, West and East and Haitians. Okay. But he chose a certain eclectic group of men. Okay, and as the scriptures say, those he he chose, he uh, 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 those he called, he also chose. Okay, and justified, and justified. You see, roughly paraphrasing verse five, it says, "And if a man also strive for masteries, uh, yeah, for masteries, yet is he not, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully." Verse six, it says, "The husband, the husbandman." That laborer must must uh, must be first partaker of the fruits. Verse seven. It says, "Consider what I say, and uh, the Lord the Lord give thee understanding in all things." Right, and that's why we say here at Great Millstone we have one hundred percent truth. Okay, why? Because the scriptures say that the Lord will give His men one hundred percent truth. Meaning what? Uh, as the scriptures say, He'll give you an unction to know all things. All things pertaining to the Bible, okay? We don't know uh, the molecular structure uh, of, of uh, you know, 
of the human genome and all that other matter. We don't know rocket scientists. I mean, rocket science. We don't need to know none of that shit. Okay. All we need to know is what the Heavenly Father wants us to do and what he's about to do and how to be saved. That's the only thing that matters. Okay. Verse 8, it says, Remember that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of David, you see, and that's a cut to y'all who's saying, oh, it's, uh, uh, who you ignorantly call Jesus. And see, his mama, his mama, his mama didn't, didn't, uh, uh, you know, have sex with an angel, you know, or she just ended up pregnant. Okay, which is absolute BS, man. It says here plainly, remember that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of David. Okay, seed, what's synonymous with seed? Sperm. You see, so. Our Lord Yahweh Shai sprang out of Judah, okay? And then you go down to genealogy, and that's why when you read Matthew 1, it gives you a genealogy, okay? That word gene <coughs> ultimately goes back to sperm, okay? The genealogy, okay? Or the study of the, the, the you know, for lack of a better word, the sperm line of Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, remember uh, that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel verse 9 it says wherein i suffer thou salakia where wherein i suffer trouble you see like we just read uh, uh, uh endurance you know uh, uh, to suffer okay right because we're living in a wicked ass world okay and we're thirsting after righteousness so that's like an oxymoron so you're gonna suffer now if you're wicked in this world you you live a high on the hog, man. You get to do what you want to do, you know. You can commit adultery. You can you can uh, eat what you want to eat, smoke what you want to smoke. You know, you live you live in a good life. But see, as for us, we can't thrive in this in this society, okay? Because this society was set up for wicked people, you know. Verse nine it says, "Wherein I suffer trouble, as an evil doer, even unto bonds." Right? Because we all know. You know, the uh, Apostle Paul, you know, was, uh, 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 you know, he was going through it, man. You know, he was being persecuted, just like all the uh, other apostles and disciples were, you know, and all the believers of Yahweh Shah, right? It says, uh, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of the Most High is not bound, right? <laughs> so you can lock us up. But the word is still going to go out. You see, verse 10, it says, Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. And that's the point. It says, Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, with eternal glory. Right. Okay. So that's another main importance of enduring. Because it ain't just for you. It's, it's, it's for the election, okay? Because like I said, this thing is all about each one teach one, okay? That's why the Apostle Todd said, look, if you've been in this thing for six months, um, you should be doing videos. You should be teaching. And it ain't about, you know, putting yourself on some type of level or making yourself seen. No, it's about the word, okay? Like the Apostle Paul said, look, you, you can't bound up the word. <laughs> you can bind me up, but you can't bind the word, Okay? His accounts where he went was locked up and, and, and taught a centurion. The centurion asking, "How can I be saved?" You see, so even in bonds, <laughs> he's teaching the word. You see, so yeah, brothers, hey, we got hey, endurance is key, man. Endurance is key, and pray, pray to the Lord to give you strength to endure. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. Okay, so yeah, I won't make this too long, and uh, I believe I hit the point. And Lord, Lord willing, this was edifying. So with that, I say. Kwam Yasharala Shalawan.